Hello everyone, welcome to Will Bake for Shoes. We're serving up sweets, style, and travel. Uh, this is Chelsea. Hi! This is Chelsea Pearl. You can find her details in the description box. We did a Trader Joe's haul that we're gonna add somewhere. Uh, this is exciting because we're actually gonna try seasonal items and stick around for the end. We're gonna spill the tea. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, we're spilling. <laughs> Play the tea on what our favorites are, starting with, ta-da! This is the winter wake-up tea. It's a spicy black tea blend with cinnamon and ginger. It smells so good. It's very aromatic. Mm -hmm. This one's black tea based, so it does have caffeine. Cinnamon, orange peel, licorice, ginger, natural flavors, and clove. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm a fan. This is really good. Mm. It's kind of <laughs> strong. Like it's. This smells sweeter than it actually tastes. Yeah. Like it's not a sugary tea. Mm -hmm. But these are the mini gingerbread men. Okay. And uh, they're gingerbread cookies with white fudge icing. And I'm really excited about these because I love gingerbread. You know what I saw? I saw somebody reselling these on Amazon. <laughs> so if you don't have a Trader Joe's in your area, it's a little pricey because somebody is reselling them for a profit. But if you don't have a store in your area, you can find these on Amazon. Link will be down below. <laughs> Way cute. Okay. <laughs> and the ice on one side, and then you have the, the design of the face on the other. Cute. So. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. It's just enough icing. Yes, this is a nice treat. Yeah, we'll go really good with the tea. Mm -hmm. Maybe even dunk it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the spicy. The mm -hmm. spicy, right? So they'll complement each other. So next up, we found these dark chocolate covered peppermint JoJo's. So if you guys know, the JoJo's are like the Trader Joe's equivalent of an Oreo, but these are coated and topped with like little candy cane pieces. Mm. Okay, Ready? let's go. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of texture happening. Yeah, I like I it. I like the little bits. I like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's nice that it's dark chocolate, so it's not overly... It's not super sweet. Yeah, it's not overly sweet. Hmm. Mm. Surprise me, Trader Joe's. <laughs> I'm into this. I mean, I'm kind of biased, though. Like, I'm like a you sweet tooth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sweet tooth, chocolate. Can't go wrong with peppermint. These are, like, rich. Like, you would be ill if you had too many of these. <laughs> like, There's not that many. So share like... them with your friends, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to finish this, though. It's, it's really good. <laughs> nice. Great. Should we go... So these are like little coated chocolate cookies with uh, sprinkles. So. <laughs> Look at that, wow. Ooh, cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Compared to the last one, it's like very what? mild. Yeah, it's really like minty. I was wondering. It's like, not that sweet either. Mm -mm. This would be good for you know, like a party when you have like a little bowl. Is it? Sh they're shortbread cookies, mm -hmm. so it's a little more like of a drier, subdued, mm -hmm. like buttery flavor. I'm gonna try another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you need to. Because the, the other one was kind of overwhelming with the peppermint. Cool. We have two peppermint uh, snacks: peppermint bark, bark popcorn, peppermint pretzel slims. All the peppermint right now. So I feel like oh. these very popular. Oh. Mm, These are pretty. Yeah. Nice. Look at the peppermint on this. It is like a ruby red. Yes. So I love peppermint with white chocolate, like anything. So I. Okay. Ready? High expectations. Cheers. <laughs> oh. To me, it had like a berry flavor almost too. It totally does. What is in there? Cane sugar, rice syrup, coconut oil, beet color. Mm. It might be just like a sweet sugary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mine has a lot of icing. Mm -hmm. It's like not a lot of pretzel, but a lot of icing. That's what I feel like I, I pretty much ate icing. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So if you like sweet with a little bit of salt, this is mostly sweet. Yeah, that's very sweet. I don't really, yeah, I can't, I can't say I really taste the pretzel. And it does say it's a thin, mm -hmm. thin crunchy pretzel. Oh, it's in there. But it's mostly really <laughs> icing. And then the other one. Just open uh, is the peppermint bark popcorn. That's cute. A little right here. Sweet. Mm. There's a lot of layers. I didn't, I didn't even appreciate the layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. It's very candy cane, peppermint. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like I think I, I see these little designs on here. I think of that. Mmm. Those little see. peppermint candies you get at restaurants. Yeah. I taste that. This is very uh candy candy. forward. Yeah. The popcorns is really a vehicle for the candy cane. This one yeah. is very white chocolate forward with hints of peppermint and then the saltiness is like the last layer. Yeah, look at those. Fancy. Layers. There's a uh, interesting layers there. That's fun to eat though. Yeah, that's fun. And like it's not like this where it like it melts in your finger. Yeah, we can move into another beverage. That's right. You peppermint <laughs> hot chocolate. So I saw this in the store, had to get it. Love a good peppermint hot cocoa, mm -hmm. and it's in a nice tin. It yeah. can be a stocking stuffer or a hostess gift. And it's bittersweet chocolate um, with chocolate shavings and a hint of natural peppermint flavor. Yeah. We had an observation about this when we were brewing it. Correcting it, yeah. It has a very, not very chocolate for it. You, you really do smell that mint, but it doesn't smell like peppermint. It's like spearmint. Yeah. Like a like an Orbit spearmint gum, mm -hmm. you know? All right, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, that's also thick. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. Wow. And we followed the directions exactly yeah. on the time. I think three, three tablespoons, tablespoons, and then you add, you can add water, or you can add warm milk, but I'm just had So we did water, yeah. it tastes delicious and nice and rich. Yeah. It's not, it's interesting because the smell initially when you open the container is very minty, but you taste it, like you do taste that chocolate first. It's like, it's nice like and smooth and minty. Yeah, nice and rich. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> this would be really good with milk. I might have to get, like some of these seasonal things, I like to buy a few of them because it, you know, it'll keep for a long time. Uh, Best Buy 2021. So you could buy, if you like that peppermint chocolate yeah. flavor all year long. Let's jump into something really fun. So these are the boozy, little boozy, boozy little chocolate truffles. Uh, you have to show your ID to get these. They do contain alcohol. Mm -hmm. There are four types of truffle in here. London Gin, Scotch Whiskey, Navy Rum, and Prosecco. Very excited for yeah. this. This is an imported product and... I like the packaging. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Great hostess gift. Bring it to a party. Oh. Oh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. Not gonna do it. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's very apart. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That is boozy. Whoa! Okay, wait, so yours was different on the inside. Mine's kind of like truffle. Mm -mm. Is it the same? It's the same. I just couldn't bite it. In okay. The point. <laughs> it's almost like chocolate ganache mm -hmm. with booze infused in it. Mm -hmm. And the note's very, very soft. And um, it's almost wow. like whipped. Yeah, so it's not, you know, like you said, they're usually filled. Like it's more liquidy. Mm -hmm. I was expecting that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, mm, this could be messy. No. That's definitely gin. Mine has like a very strong, like grassy. Oh gym. wow! There's a, there's a booze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is very boozy. These are pretty good. I'm a fan. They are good. Yeah. I like the presentation. Mm-hmm. And honestly, with stuff like this, you're just a little indulgent. Before we dive into something savory, the chocolate bid bonbon, bon, and it's filled. Has a little bit of brandy in there. Hey, it's good. It's coated in dark chocolate and it's filled with that chocolate truffle and there's a dry fig in there. So that's pretty exciting. I've been really into figs lately. <laughs> the packaging on this is beautiful too. So it really sets itself apart. Like it don't totally grab my attention um, when we're looking for oh, things to try. They're individually wrapped. Oh, yeah. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I don't think this is actually a Trader Joe's product. Oh. That's why the pack, like the packaging is different. Oh. We tried to stick to mostly Trader Joe's brand stuff, but sometimes it's fun to try these yeah. the other things they offer. That little big is a nice little surprise as you're biting in. So if you're worried about texture, maybe not get, don't get this. But the alcohol creeps up on you too, mm -hmm. and it's like a nice soft chewy. Mm -hmm. Fig and then the fig itself is filled with that like chocolate ganache mm -hmm. that's like soaked in alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, this is really good. That's really nice. We also kind of cheated because we did try this other chocolate before. I'm constantly holding it. <laughs> <laughs> the taste test of caramels. Taste test of caramels. Uh, we tried a few and they're the flavor is hidden, um, so it could be a fun party game. Uh, to try to guess which ones are in here. 
We tried a lot of them. Yeah, I tried espresso, maple, strawberry, black pepper. Mm -hmm. I think I tried the fig and honey of this too, and it was pretty good. There's Himalayan sea salt. Some of them are kind of obvious based on what's on the top. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's coconut. Yeah. Um, you can see some stuff here. I think that was the fig and honey. <laughs> so what do we think? Want to try some more? No, I can't. <laughs> I think I need something savory, yeah. but these are really good. So um, I'd say some are better than others, but it's really fun to try. And the yeah. price is actually really good for how much chocolate you get. Yeah, I want to say this was like $5.99. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Yeah. So cool and it would fit great in a stocking. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Today, brie en croute. So very different uh, than a lot of the it's things not here. Peppermint. <laughs> it's not peppermint. It's or not peppermint. It's not peppermint. It's not sweet, no. and you find this in the frozen section. We're gonna be trying it. We just baked it. Um, it's like basically a brie cheese wheel coated in like a I don't know bread dough Pilo pastry. Yeah, hopefully it's like flaky and delicious mm -hmm. and buttery. Um, and the idea is that you could serve this with all kinds of stuff. We served it alongside the pistachio pomegranate crisps. Yeah. That. Look at this beautiful that is, little yeah. presentation. Can we do the honors? Maybe. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's warm to the touch. It's not hot, hot. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 We need like a secondary video camera. Like, <laughs> the jiggly it's action. It's very jiggly. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Okay. The dough is very firm. Oh, it's flaky. We mm -hmm. can tell it's flaky so far. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. This is like oh, melty. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Wait. Whoa. Okay. You know what? The breading has separated. Oh dang. But oh. We'll, oh wow. That is melted. Let's get a little piece in there too. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> Show that cross section. Let's see. It's a good party idea. Hmm. Ready? Mm. Flaky. Are you Delicious. ready for this? <laughs> Buttery flaky crust. Wow. It's like a little a little grilled cheese sandwich right now with this crust right here. Mm. Mm-hmm. After tasting all these sweets, this is like a nice little break, but also, wow. Yeah. This is a really good cheese. Very buttery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not like overly salty or funky. Just a nice, hot, gooey, mm -hmm. melty, buttery brie. It's very comforting. Like, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to try another piece because mm -hmm. I'm... I'm liking this. Yeah. A lot. I'm going to try it with some of the... Oh, yeah. That the inside crisp. part. Although I guess I should try the crisp without the brie, but okay. This is a pomegranate, pistachio pomegranate crisp. Ooh. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't and remember if I had these. And the pomegranate really hits you. It's like, oh. Mm-hmm. Hey. Not a pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, if you like cranberry, like dried cranberry, mm -hmm. you would like this. Like, it has a nice, like, bright yeah. pomegranate. Yes. Right. It's really good on the cracker. I mean, it doesn't taste like it's, it was frozen. Like it tastes no. like regular brie cheese if you baked it. So mm -hmm. I am definitely a fan of that. Mm. Nice. We had to, our battery ran out, my battery ran out, and then I had to take the dogs out. So wardrobe change. I'm the chocolate peppermint <laughs> almond beverage. There's a whole section in Trader Joe's with these Tetra Pak mm -hmm. drinks, and I'm a fan of the matcha one. You tried the pumpkin one. I did. I tried it for my fall seasonal haul. I had to add almond milk to it, just or almond beverage, uh, to kind of dilute it. And I also added the pumpkin one to coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's like normal chocolate milk with a hint of peppermint. Yeah. It's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. This is very different compared to that pumpkin one. So, wow. Nice, that's a nice surprise. That's really good. So I looked at a list of all the underrated holiday products that are recommended by Trader Joe's employees and almond nog is on the list yeah so it's a plant-based eggnog yeah yep egg-free lactose-free dairy-free gluten-free soy-free and vegan it's vegan oh i don't know yeah, not a fan. No, no, no. But, you know, no. it's probably worth trying if you love eggnog. And you're if you want, for... If you're looking for a vegan option, it's not horrible. They just... I don't love it. I wouldn't yeah, reach for that. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So this is the eggnog liqueur. This is a cocoa cream liqueur. And good mix. I like good mix drinks. We're yeah. gonna probably save these for stories. 
Yeah. Because I need to drive out. <laughs> I also need to drive home, so we're going to pass on these. Yeah. Um, but they are worth checking out because they are seasonal. And who doesn't love a good, boozy, warm yourself yeah. up kind of drink around the holidays. Around the holidays. To be continued on that, follow us on stories for a follow up on those. But I want to make sure we've got to try the champagne gummy candies, brew and rose champagne bottle gummies. Very New Year's different. Oh wow. They have the two colors, so yeah. champagne and the rose oh, champagne. Oh, look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a champagne flavor. Yeah. Like, wow. think of like the effervescent like, yeah. champagne taste. Mm -hmm. It's like in this. It's more like a gummy worm mm -hmm. than a gummy bear. Mm -hmm. Like, they can be yeah. part of They the were. It's the pink one, I can't tell. Yeah, no. <laughs> this bright light. I tried both. And yeah, they're really good. They do have that that champagne rose taste, so. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, right? The two taste different. Yeah. Because sometimes with gummy candy, like, you can't tell an orange versus mm -hmm. a green. You it's can all the same sugar. The these. these two have two different distinct yeah. flavors, I think. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna rank our bottom three each and then share what our top, top, you must get these for the holiday season before they run out. So, it's hard to rank the bottom three for me, but I, I know what they are. Definitely these, I mean, they're fine, but the flavor is just not really strong. You know, it has that shortbread, like it's good with tea, but not really the strong holiday flavor I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Definitely the almond nog is probably the bottom bottom rank for me because just not something I would buy mm -hmm. and I don't really like the custardy drink flavor. And then uh, probably these, I'm just a little un underwhelmed by them. They taste a little bit like, you know, those like peppermint candies that you get at restaurants. Just not my favorite flavor. And the um, popcorn really is like a backseat. Yeah. I need more like salty texture there. Yeah. So not bad, but just not my three favorite. Yeah. Uh, I would have to agree with the almond nog. I thought it was gonna be a lot better than it was. I will also agree that these are kind of underwhelming. It's just, it's fine, uh, but it doesn't feel very holiday-y. Uh, there's the peppermint pretzel slim. They were okay. Uh, they were more uh, icing than anything else. Our favorites, let's see. Oh gosh. I know. Really For starters, <laughs> that hot chocolate. Something. Yeah. That is that, something. That's probably one of my top right there. This big bonbon was like really good. Yeah. I go with these. These dark chocolate uh, covered peppermint JoJo's. I really like the gingerbread cookies, but these were surprisingly good. They were really, really tasty. So peppermint rank, rank those yeah. top for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to say definitely top three, the Brion Crew. It's not a sweet treat for the holidays, but definitely a great party appetizer. We did some damage. They're like half the wheel on our own, uh, but I would love to revisit this with more mm -hmm. toppings and sides. This can just go so many ways, and I think it's going to be a real crowd yeah. pleaser. I would also have to agree with these two, man. And uh, again, it's hard for me to rank, but these are really decadent, really delicious. I could barely even eat one. Oreos have always been like some of my favorite cookies. Love that like creamy center, and mm. it's very fudgy and decadent. Yes. And then, man, this is good. This hot chocolate is so good. It has that nice kiss of peppermint. It's just perfect. Yeah. And definitely something I might want to buy one or two containers of to stash throughout the year. <laughs> just have a little stash. And if there's anything <laughs> that you suggest or recommend yeah. or you want us to taste test out, let, let us know. Leave yeah. it in a comment. Please leave a comment. Uh, let us know what you think of this video. This is my introduction to YouTube. Thank you to Chelsea for joining me on this taste test. My and pleasure. For all of her experience. Uh, if you don't know, Chelsea has an ebook out right now on how to monetize as a micro influencer. <laughs> I'll link it below so you can check it out. Uh, thanks for joining us, and you know, this is TJ season and That's happy right. holidays. Happy shopping too. Yeah, see ya. Bye. <laughs>